Hi, I'm Nick Blanford. I work on a merino sheep farm in Merlot. My role focuses on operations of the business, so things like animal husbandry, fencing, environmental management. I also learning the management of the business, so that includes things like financial management, uh, strategic planning and marketing. Uh, agriculture is a really rewarding career. There's a huge variety in the jobs that you get to do each day. No two days are the same. And it has a great, it can have a great impact in agriculture, both environmentally, economically and socially. Uh, I work for my family business that's owned by my parents and my aunt and uncle. And that farm's located in Merlot, which is in East Gippsland. Uh, after finishing high school, I attended university and studied agricultural science um, with the intention of coming home to the farm. Um, that opportunity wasn't available to me as when I finished university, um, so I took the great opportunities in, provided in agriculture um, to work in different fields, which included um, rural supplies and agricultural research. Uh, so since coming back to the farm, um, I've taken a number of different opportunities available to me. Um, this started with a Young Farmer Scholarship provided by Agriculture Victoria, and from that I've been able to do some training and advance my skills, um, as well as participating in a leadership program and a mentorship program. Um, and this has assisted me and I've been able to become a member of the Young Farmers Advisory Council. I think there's a limitless scope within the agricultural industry for the different career pathways you can uh, take. Um, everyone participates in agriculture every day by the food and fibre choices that we make and um, I think there's a real a huge amount of possibility for people to get involved in agriculture, be it through things such as urban rooftop farming through to robotics for huge broad acre fields. Uh, there's no formal qualification needed to do the job that I do, um, but there are many different opportunities and pathways to undertake the skills within agriculture, be that through TAFEs or universities. Uh, I think there's a lot of opportunities for people to get a taste of the agricultural industry, be that through working in shearing sheds, milking cows or picking fruit and vegetables. And often these positions can lead to traineeships and build development of networks. Um, there's also formal training processes through universities and TAFEs. Um, there's a huge opportunity for technology to have an impact on agriculture. Over the past couple of years, there's been a real swell in the level of agricultural technology developed. Um, and there's huge opportunities for that to have a real impact on farm, be that in the past through things such as um, GPS for broad acre farms and controlled traffic farming, to the current development of the Internet of Things technologies for remote sensing on farms, to in the future with possibilities such as uh, visual, visual identification of livestock for identification. Uh, in agriculture, one of the most undervalued skills is communication. There's a real challenge within our industry to be able to develop a social license for the things that we do. And consumers are demanding to know what impact the products we provide them are having, both economically, socially, and environmentally. Um, it's really important that we are able to communicate the why of our production systems along the supply chain and it's vital to the success of the agricultural industry. Hi, I'm Pam Cordery. I work at Gippsland Jersey in Lake Entrance. I'm the production manager there. I assist with all the production schedule and making and packaging all our dairy products, including milk, butter, cream, sour cream and buttermilk. I love doing the work that I do at Gippsland Jersey because the team there are fantastic and they support local farmers and mental health. For me, my own career pathway is feeling like I belong at Gippsland Jersey. Everyone there gives you that feeling of belonging and being needed and the possibilities at Gippsland Jersey are just endless. There's no real skills required for working at Gippsland Jersey. You just need to have a base knowledge of good general food hygiene. Um, everything else is taught to you at the factory. For me, I've had a lot of experience working in manufacturing factories, but a year and a half ago, I was looking for a new career and heard about Gippsland Jersey's factory starting up. And so I applied there with no experience in the dairy and I've taken my factory experience and then learnt more with the dairy industry. There is a lot of opportunities available for you in this industry. You've just got to put yourself out there and give everything your best effort and the sky's your limit. The food and fibre industry is estimated to contribute 7 billion of Gippsland's 16 billion gross regional product. Gippsland is well known for its amazing agricultural land and 28% of the land is used for it. 
Landscapes in Gippsland range from lakes and beaches to mountains and farmlands, with much of Australia's premium quality produce coming from different areas of the region. Dairy, honey, flowers, fruits, vegetables, beef, lamb, wool, hemp and mohair. Jobs are plentiful and varied from processing to manufacturing. Do you want to be part of creating the future of Gippsland's food and fibre industry?